boppers. I'm going to tell you guys the story. So one day, I went to let Brutus, my pit bull, into the house through the patio door. And I had taken him off the lead, and in a split second, he had seen a pit bull across the street, and he ran like fuck. So he ran across the street, and he attacked the pit bull. And there was a woman, a young woman, walking the dog. Turns out she was a gang stalker, walking around my fucking house with her dog, right? Being fucking gang stalkery. So anyway, I run across the street, and I break up this pit bull fight. Single-handedly, while she stands there going, Oh my God! Oh my God! Right? So I risk my life to save her dog's life. And I carry Brutus, all 80 pounds of him, across the street by myself as the neighbors are just looking at me, not fucking helping me at all. And I get a knock on the door, and it's this bitch. And she's being fucking rude to me. And I'm apologizing. I'm so sorry my dog did that. I will pay the vet bills. Is your dog okay? And, you know, she's being cunty. So I'm like, all right, really? So then I open up the fucking door. She w she said something. I don't even know what this stupid fucking bitch said. And she walks away. So I follow her car. And I'm talking shit all the way there. Yeah, I already knew she was going to um, call the police. So animal control shows up at my door. And they asked me for vet records, and I hand them the vet records, and Brutus's are with everyone else's. So he saw that I take care of my animals, and, you know, I was crying. I thought they were going to put Brutus to sleep. Well, he was kind enough to tell me that Brutus could never be out alone, so we had to walk him. Um for him to use a bathroom instead of him being on a lead after that. So yeah, you know, I saved this fucking cunt's dog's life. And she comes over and acts like an asshole. So, yeah, that's the kind of stuff that I go through. I like